The one question you should never ask your ex, experts warn. Number one avoid asking an ex, did you ever love me? Sometimes, in the aftermath of a troubling split, you just want to know if what you had was the deal real. However, you probably won't get a satisfying response, says licensed marriage and family therapist Ashera DeRosa. If your ex says yes, of course, I loved you, you'll be tempted to say then why are we here? If they say no, I never loved you, what peace will that bring? She says. When DeRosa hears that question, she suspects that the person is trying to reconcile a lot of information at once in a concise way. However, that likely won't be possible. Love is a messy thing, says DeRosa. Falling out of love can be even messier. Let it be a mess and work on your healing journey. Number 2 Ask yourself why the question is important to you. If asking your ex this question has been on your mind non-stop, take the opportunity to look inward. This kind of question sounds like reassurance seeking, and it's unlikely you'll get the reassurance you seek if you're looking outside of yourself, says licensed professional counselor Rebecca Phillips, Ms. She believes that you may be asking to subconsciously affirm a negative belief about yourself regarding being unlovable or not good enough. The answer, however, is probably something they can't give you. It's more likely that you will get the closure and validation you may be seeking if you look within rather than looking to your ex or anyone else to give it to you, says Phillips. Number 3 Consider going no contact Chatting about your relationship with an ex is risky business. If you're looking to share how hurt you are by the breakup, your ex is not the appropriate venue, says DeRosa. If it was a healthy breakup, they'll be walking through their own emotional journey. Yes, you both are sharing the experience of the breakup. But this doesn't mean that you need to share how difficult it is with one another. Number 4 No things can change in the future. Remember, no contact doesn't have to last forever. Sometimes people reconcile after they've both done work on identifying their part in the problem and how they would like to show up in future relationships, says Phillips. But without having done your work, you're more likely to repeat the same patterns that led to the breakup. Once you're in a more settled place, you can consider an amicable relationship with your ex. Or, more likely, you'll realize that you're happy to move on and enjoy your new journey.